everybody. This is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional. This week we are looking at Easter and reasons why Easter is important in our faith. Today we're going to be in John chapter 11. I'm going to read verses 25 through 26. Listen to this interaction that Jesus has with a woman named Martha. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, Yet shall he live, and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? So again, let's talk a little bit of context to kind of get a picture of what's going on here. So Jesus had a a very few close friends during his time on earth, and among those were a small family of siblings. Uh, They were Mary, Martha, and a man named Lazarus. We read about them several times in the Gospels, but in this story, their brother Lazarus gets sick and dies. Jesus was not around for the events in that final week of his life, but four days after his death, Jesus finally arrives on the scene. As he enters this moment, the family is in mourning still, and friends and family are gathered around. Uh, They have already buried Lazarus, and Martha rushes out of the house to greet him, and she is devastated. And there is this short interchange that happens between Martha and Jesus. And part of it is Martha's communicating her regret that Jesus had not arrived sooner. And the other part is her hope that Jesus can do something about the present situation. And right here at this moment, Jesus interjects a profound idea about who he is. He states to her that I am the resurrection and the life. In other words, he is power over death. And as we continue reading, we discover that Jesus does raise Lazarus from death to life. Now, remember, up to this moment, people had seen a lot of amazing things that Jesus had done, like water changed to wine, or blind men were given sight, lame men walked, disease were healed among many people, but as of yet, no one had seen a miracle of resurrection proportions. I mean, no one had been raised from the dead by him, especially not someone who had been dead for four days. This had never been done because, well, it wasn't thought possible. Death was an undeniable law of nature. Everyone knew that everyone and everything on planet Earth died. Everyone. Even Jesus died, by the way, if you didn't know it. So in this, in this moment, we see another reason that Easter or the resurrection is important. Jesus is power over the sentence of death. Death is the ultimate sting, fellas, of this broken world. And by the way, if you didn't know it, Our world is broke. It is dying daily. Everything in it is dying. Death is the penalty. And the only one who can defeat death is the one who holds the key to life. The key to life. And Jesus not only holds the key, but he states he is the key. He is the resurrection and the life. Thus, even though Jesus lived in human skin just like us and endured being beaten and crucified and died, he rose from the grave because he's not only a life giver to a man named Lazarus, he is life itself, life for all who would believe in his name, just like he said here to Martha. So guys, today I want you to look around. You're actually surrounded by death. I know it's a little bit of a morbid thought, but signs of death are all around you. Just look at that plant on your desk. Look at the wars happening in other countries. Look at you. All things have an end, including you. The end is death. But there is one who holds the key to life. The key to life itself. He is the life giver. And his name is Jesus. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed it, share it with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.